remaster. Will adding ray tracing effects be a common means by which to remaster or re-release a lot of current generation titles in the PlayStation 6 era? Uh, games like recently released Death Stranding or Final Fantasy Rebirth already look spectacular with non-RT rendering and run at pleasing resolutions and frame rates. Would overhauling their lighting systems with ray slash path tracing be the most obvious path to make them appear generationally better when the hardware is capable of supporting this? Uh, it's an interesting question, right, John, because um, I guess um, thinking back to like your Doom to Dark Ages video you did with Alex, uh, where you had those uh, real-time head-to-heads between ultra-level ray tracing and, uh, and path tracing, it was kind of like interesting that a really good RT implementation had a bump in quality from path tracing, but it wasn't kind of like the spectacular improvement. But I guess with with the PlayStation 6, there probably will be the chance to actually retrofit RT to a whole bunch of games that never had it in the first place. And it, it could be pretty good, right? It could be. I agree. It would be very nice. But I think that's, that raises a lot of difficulties and questions, right? Because, you know, these are games built without ray tracing features at all. Implementing yep. them in there and replacing systems that already exist and where, where art was created for those uh, techniques, that's not a trivial thing. That, that's a lot of work and may not even always be possible. Like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, for instance, that's an Unreal Engine 4 game still. Uh, we know <laughs> UE4's ray tracing support is not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think they could very easily do it at all with that game without like essentially doing like a full on like UE5 port. And like, exactly. I, th- I think it would require a lot of work to get up to speed on that. And it, it's, it wouldn't just be like flipping a switch on settings. Cause like these games were built very specifically in this way, right? Where I think it could work is if games that already have some sort of ray tracing where they could expand the ray tracing support, uh, make it look better than it was. Maybe even like if, if the power's there, who knows if it will be, maybe even path tracing, right? Uh, like when you already have a ray traced ray tracing implemented and you switch to path tracing, it's more of a natural conversion process. I think it's easier to get that done, although not trivial, of course. Um, mm. in that case, I mean, so those sorts of things would be nice. I agree. It's just going to have to vary per game to game. And it did make me think though, we've actually seen path tracing on consoles once this generation. Haven't we rich go on? Minecraft on Xbox Series mm. X. We saw it. They we they, saw it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they did it. It was awesome. Uh, it was like 1080p, 45 FPS range. So obviously, you know, it's expensive, right? But it was it co- was variable. Yeah, it, it was, was quite was variable. variable. But it yeah. was still like, hey, it works. <laughs> yeah, they could they could have done it. Yeah, but I I do think once some of those user generated maps get. <laughs> get I know, I know. It would have been rough. I think it would have it would have folded like a card table. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's certainly a good point. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't really seen anything else though. That's that's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I do I do consider that the remastering bandwagon is going to continue into the next generation. And yeah. uh, there's already been some kind of um, uh, sort of uh, resistance to it in some respects, where we've had some. Um, fairly iterative upgrades, but I just think we've reached the point now where there's absolutely no reason why a good game shouldn't persist into a new generation with new features because it's still going to be a good game. You don't, you know, nobody's forcing you to buy it and there will potentially be a new market. It is funny you bring that up, John, because maybe there's a bit of a lesson in here because the uh, Minecraft RTX branch, I think last week or the week before, it was announced by Microsoft that Minecraft RTX on the PC will no longer be updated. So you can still use it, but they're not going to update it with new features, and they're not going to bring it forward. Maybe at some point support will drop entirely. So that's unfortunate, but I think it probably maybe indicates to some degree like the market for some of these ray tracing remasters, especially if they involve taking a big uh, performance hit. Perhaps there isn't maybe that much of a market for it. Indeed, they're pushing this vibrant visuals alternative, which is purely raster and runs on everything from an Xbox One to a mobile phone to a PlayStation 5, whatever. That's their approach. So that certainly is a, a bit of a different uh, approach good to point, things. Good point. Yeah. Mm. Um, but in general, like I think that games like Death Stranding 2, they already look really great with their rasterized lighting. Um, any improvements from ray tracing 
wouldn't be as impactful as like hypothetically looking at ray tracing enhancements in ff7 rebirth or something like a game where things are really falling apart or a much older title um but yeah i think it really is contingent like john said on the engine tech being there to make that work whether that requires an engine upgrade or in the case of you know decima maybe there is already an in kind of an incubating ray tracing implementation that gorilla is cooking up that they could use in an upgraded version of death stranding 2 again at the moment we just don't know right but i think that the much more plausible way to go about this wouldn't actually be adopting new ray tracing tech that wasn't present in the game it would be looking to the pc version and grabbing things from there right like a parts yep. bin of pc technology it's like a next-gen version of doom the dark ages running with you know the pc's path tracing on a playstation 6 for instance that's already out right, there that right, stuff right. that's been implemented that's something they could probably do right as opposed to doing something completely new from the ground up 